As we know, Nintendo gets a lot of criticism for the lack of third-party games. And so people like to constantly bash Nintendo for the lack of, oh, you can't get any of these big games. You know, you can't get your Call of Duties and Assassin's Creeds and whatnot on Nintendo. They just never come out, you know. And um, it seems like that at least one third-party company wants to change that. And I've got to give props to Bethesda because they've got not just Skyrim coming to the Switch, which is a very competent looking version of Skyrim. Like, I mean, it's graphically top notch. It's definitely more like the Xbox One and PS4 version than it is the last gen versions. Like I saw some of the gameplay and it looked almost the same as like the Xbox One version, which is fantastic. I'm sure it probably runs at a slightly lower resolution and all that good stuff, you know, whatever it takes to run, you know, run it good. But nonetheless, it's an impressive looking version of Skyrim that I'm thinking about getting just because that Nintendo content. But they are also bringing us Doom, the new Doom, not classic Doom that anything can run, the new Doom that's only on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. They are bringing that to the Nintendo Switch, which that is impressive in itself. Mm. Now, they had some footage. I'm not sure if that's the actual Nintendo Switch version of the game running, or if that's just some stock footage. Mm-hmm. But if that's the Nintendo Switch version, congrats, Bethesda. I think you may have cracked the code. You know, I think you just you you may be the top-notch developers for the Switch because it looks fa- excellent. You know, mm-hmm. um, and then of course, that's not even the biggest news because Doom's an old game. A lot of people have already played this game, but they announced another game that people have not played yet because it has not been released yet. Now, the Switch is getting a little bit later, admittedly. I think that the success of the Switch has probably taken some of these developers by surprise. Maybe they could have had it ready in time if they had more faith, (laughs) unlike they did with the Wii U. (laughs) But um, nonetheless, in 2018, we will be getting Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, on the Nintendo Switch. And from what I understand... They're claiming that it is going to be an uncompromised version of the game. Like I said, I don't expect the graphics to be as good because it is a weaker system, but you can play it portably. On the Nintendo Switch, you cannot play a game with the caliber of Wolfenstein 2 on anything else portably. So if you're a hardcore gamer but you happen to have a lifestyle that maybe has you travel a lot or just not really get a chance to spend time with consoles or PC, you might need to start looking at Nintendo Switch because it looks like they're starting to get games that appeal to you. You know, that appeal to a lot of us hardcore gamers. So now I'm conflicted because uh, before I was just gonna get it on PS4. But now that this is happening, I'm wondering if I should just wait until next year and get on the Switch, because as long as it's not a bad version of the game, like, I don't mind if the graphics are a bit crappy or whatever, as long as it plays the game well, at a good frame rate, and it doesn't have, like, a bunch of missing content and other kind of really crappy compromises like that. I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, Honestly, I think one of the things that kind of gets to me is I would be definitely surprised if this if both Doom and Wolfenstein 2 managed to really run along the level of say the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. What would really be funny is if the Switch if the Switch version ran the best out of all of them, which would be hilarious. Which that's but, not going to happen because PC <laughs> is PC. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but then again, the thing is, is that. Uh, how is it really, it's like you just mentioned, how is it going to perform? But then again, how is it really going to look? I mean, are they probably going to go with a different graphical style possibly? I mean, I really could see something like, what I really find interesting is I could really see a game like this not having that realistic look to it, but maybe having like more of a cell shaded look to it to kind of give into Nintendo's aesthetic, if you will, which will probably piss some people off actually. But I just think it would be an interesting mechanic to kind of add into. Now that like, would be really better. that would be really interesting if they pull out like some weird kind of anime style look to it. 
Mm-hmm. But I don't see that happening. This is Bethesda we're talking about. This is probably like the least Japanese company there is in the industry right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I would peg someone like EA or Activision being more Japanese than Bethesda. Come on. <laughs> but uh, that being said, um, yeah, that okay. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's Bethesda. We've seen what Skyrim looks like on the Switch. Skyrim mm-hmm. looks great on the Switch. It mm-hmm. arguably is probably the best looking game that we've seen so far on the Switch. Which may not be saying all that much because Skyrim is an older game now. But like I said, it's more on the level of the current gen versions, not the last gen versions. Mm-hmm. So if they can manage to pull it off for a game that's a lot faster paced, like Doom... Or Wolfenstein 2? I'll be very impressed. Now the question is, will my fellow Nintendo fans support these games? Because the fact that these games are coming out is great, but if we don't buy them so that more of them come out, why even bother making them in the first place? Is it just because Bethesda just really likes a Switch? You know, they just want a portable version of their games. <laughs> no, I believe that they're just trying to milk that tit for all that it's worth when it comes to dealing with with uh, Skyrim. I mean, because they have put it out on so many different platforms, it's it's uncanny. I'm just like, man, but that's the go ahead and make go ahead and make Elder Scrolls Six. Just go ahead and do it. Leave Skyrim alone. It's been done to death. I'm pretty sure they're working on Elder Scrolls Six though. But I'm right. the Elder Scrolls series is one of my favorite series. And as soon as I find out that there's some either footage or info in Elder Scrolls Six, I'm just going to jump through the roof because I'll finally be able to hopefully see what they're going to be working on. But yeah, I mean Skyrim. Yeah, I think it's just a way for them to be able to make make more money. Honestly, that that's how I feel about it. I mean, Nintendo's probably like, yeah, well, let's go ahead and and try to see like nowadays um, with this new um, handheld console if we can go ahead and really try to cater to the hardcore gamers once again. You know, we ended up getting guff from the hardcore gamers back on the original Wii and, and some on the Wii U. So let's really try to, to go that route because that's one reason why I think they're probably doing that with Wolfenstein too and also doing that with um, um, with uh, Doom as well. They're really trying to not only have that usual casual family oriented crowd, but also trying to get more for the hardcore side. And the only way I really see them doing that at this point, besides them doing their own in-house stuff, their first party stuff is reaching out more to third party developers, which is what they should have done with the original Wii, Mm -hmm. but it's good they're doing that now. And it seems like they're gonna be bringing some more mature titles over to the platform so they can really try to build up their fan base once again. Yeah, most definitely. Now, Doom on the Switch, it is going to have the actual single player campaign built in. Uh, if you want to do multiplayer, you do have to have a separate download, which of course that's another thing entirely. That some people are complaining about is that the switch, you have to do separate downloads of certain things and whatnot. But if you know, from my understanding, most people hated the multiplayer doom anyways. <laughs> so is that much of a loss? <laughs> so, yeah. right. And then, um, unfortunately, Snap Map is not going to make it to the Switch. I, that's one thing I am disappointed about, because Snap Map was a lot of fun. Um, but hopefully Bethesda can figure something out and maybe patch it in later or something, because that would be a valuable addition. But in any case, I'll consider Doom if it's a budget release. No way I'm paying 60 bucks for that or whatever it might be. Yeah. But if it was like 30 bucks, sure. 40 mm. Maybe if the money situation is good, you know, mm. uh, yeah. but uh, Wolfenstein, I imagine that'll be a full price game. Mm. Why wouldn't it be? It's going to be full price in the other systems. So, yeah, and it's just coming out. It's, I think it's supposed to be out later this year. So they're just going to go ahead and pop it out at the beginning of next year on, on the switch, which mm. I'll, I'll already be getting that on PS4 as well as um, as well. Well, I already have doom on PS4 and I really loved it. I completed it, loved it. And I'm really anxious to see when they come out with the, the Wolfenstein too. Yeah, definitely. I'll get that on, on um, PS4, but well, it'll be interesting to see how it's going to perform on the switch. That's for sure. Yeah. Like I said, if it, as long as they're not a gimped version, cards are on the table, you know, mm-hmm. If it's like some broken version that's like 15 frames a second and all this stuff, then yeah. Like, let's play Doom, but let's play it with frame rates like GoldenEye for the 64. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh 
subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.